Hey everyone, in today's video we are taking a look at a brand new password manager from Nord, NordPass. Let's get started. In today's world, chances are you have a number of different usernames and passwords to access a number of different services. Some of those services might be listed right there. You probably know this by now, but it's not a good idea to have one password for all of your logins. It's good to have different passwords and different strong passwords, not something that's easily guessed. An example of a weak password, something that's not very secure and easily guessed would be something like this, or even this. An example of a strong password, something a lot harder to guess and ultimately much more secure would be something like this, or even something like this. Having a strong password is all fine and dandy as long as you remember it. Having a long password filled with different numbers and symbols and letters becomes very difficult. Now trying to remember just one password on its own is very difficult. Trying to remember a number of strong passwords all filled with these random characters is next to impossible. And this is where having a password manager, kind of like NordPass here, can be extremely useful. And fortunately, you can pick up NordPass absolutely free. I will leave a link to this in the description below. You can also add NordPass to your browser as an extension. NordPass is also available as a free app on Android and on iOS. The added benefit to the mobile app is that it syncs with your PC. So you only have to enter a username and password once to have it on different devices. Once you've downloaded and installed NordPass, you will be greeted with this screen here. From this point, you have three different options. The first option, if you already have a Nord account, you can just go ahead and enter it here and log right in or you can create a brand new Nord account. Or if you just wanna try it out, feel free to click use NordPass without account. Creating a NordPass account is very simple and straightforward, but I will say there is one point where it will give you a recovery code. I highly recommend saving that recovery code somewhere. Maybe write it down on a piece of paper, put it in a closet drawer, just put it somewhere because you will need that recovery code to get into your account if you ever forget your password. The very first time you log into NordPass, you will be greeted with this screen here. The first thing I recommend doing is going down to the settings button in the bottom left hand corner and clicking it. Once you're in the settings menu, I recommend clicking the tab that says browser extensions. Once you're in here, you can add NordPass to your browsers as well. So if you're using Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, Brave if you're using a security browser, or Opera, all of these browsers do support the NordPass extension. And I highly recommend doing this because it will make your experience with NordPass a heck of a lot easier and a heck of a lot more convenient. The browser extension is one of the best features of NordPass. Once you've successfully added the browser extension, it will let you know here. For me, for example, I've added it to Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. Next up, if you want to import passwords, you absolutely can. For example, if you use any of these services, take for example, Google Chrome, and you use the Google Chrome Remember Passwords feature, you can import those passwords into NordPass. However, I don't necessarily recommend importing your passwords into NordPass for two different reasons. First and foremost, it's always good to change your password every now and then. Refresh your password just in case for security purposes. The second reason is because NordPass has an amazing password generator, so why not take advantage of it? It's a perfect time to refresh all of your passwords. On the sidebar, there are different items, for example, logins, secured notes, and credit cards. So you see, NordPass doesn't just store login information, you can also store your credit card in here. For example, if you do a lot of online shopping and you don't necessarily trust storing your credit card on the website that you use, you can just store it in NordPass instead. When you get to the checkout page, you can use NordPass to pre-populate the information so you don't have to run to your wallet or purse and try to find your credit card. And if you're wondering what secured notes are, this is information that is sensitive but isn't necessarily a login or a password or even a credit card. For example, let's pretend your neighbor goes on vacation, but before they go, they give you their garage door code. 
They're expecting a package while they're away and they want you to open the garage door and put the package on the inside for safekeeping. Now, obviously you need to remember this code. If you write it down on a piece of paper, you might lose it or worse yet, someone else gets their hands on it. The best way to keep something like this secure is in the secured notes in NordPass. For the logins menu, this is where your usernames and passwords are stored. There's actually quite a bit you can do here. For example, you can just click launch and launch the website for your login. And if you want to just find out your password, all you have to do is click on your login information. By default, your password is starred out, but you can just click show. From here, you can see your password, and if you want to copy it into your browser, all you have to do is click copy here. Then you can just paste it in the password field on your browser. Now, if you want to create a login, there are two ways to do it. The first way is to use the NordPass extension in your browser, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. The second way is to do it manually. To create a login manually, all you have to do is go to the top right-hand corner of the screen click add login. From here, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is enter the credentials to the site that you want to log into. For example, if I'm going to add a login to Twitter, I'm going to enter my credentials here. For the title, you can call it whatever you want, but I do recommend calling it somewhat relevant to where you're logging in. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to enter Twitter one. In the next field, this is where you enter your username or password. So I'm going to enter fake at email.com. In the next field, this is where you enter your current password used to log in. So I'm just going to enter password. Fortunately, this is a weak password and Nord is letting me know that. Later on, I can use this field to generate a brand new password if I would like. For the next step, go to the website URL and enter the URL where you need to log in. So I'm going to enter twitter.com and then any notes. This is my main Twitter login. From there, I can put it in a folder if I would like, or I can just click save. And that's pretty much all you need to do to save your login information. So all I have to do is click back and you can see right above me, it's saved. The second way to store your login information is far easier and more straightforward. All you have to do is make sure the NordPass browser extension is installed. Then open your browser and go to the website where your login is. For this video, I'm back on Twitter to show how this works. If you've installed the browser extension correctly, you will see the little NordPass logo right here and here in the fields that you enter information. As soon as you click on a field, it will ask you if you want to import your information that's already saved within NordPass. NordPass is also smart enough to know that this is Twitter. And now to save a new login, all you have to do is just start typing your login information. So I'm going to type in fake2 at email.com. My password is going to be password yet again. As soon as I hit enter here, it will ask me to save this information. So here is the screen that comes up as soon as you hit enter. It shows my email and username, it shows my password, and I can also place it in a folder within NordPass if I want. As soon as I click save, I can go back into NordPass and it will be on the list. Now back on NordPass, you can see right above me at the top of the list is the brand new login that I just added. It was very easy and straightforward but I am noticing one thing here. It says Twitter one for the initial login that I added, and it says twitter.com for the second one. If I want to change anything, it's very, very easy. Just click on the username here, go into the bottom right corner of your screen where it says edit. Click on that, and then you can edit all of the information here. So all I have to do now is go into the title. I'm going to type in Twitter two, and then click save and it should update in the list. So I'll click back and you can see now Twitter one and Twitter two. So you've got your login saved and let's say now you want to take advantage of NordPass's password generator and generate a brand new password. There are two ways to do this, the easy way and the manual way. The easy way to change your password is through the browser extension. So if you have the browser extension installed, this is nice and easy. All you have to do is to go to the area where you change your password. For changing your password on Twitter, this is what you should see. The process is pretty much the same on almost every single website. NordPass will pre-fill your current password for you, 
For your new password, all you have to do is click on the field and NordPass will automatically recommend a brand new password. If you're not happy with your password, you can keep clicking this button until you get a password you're happy with. Alternatively, you can click more options here and change up how your password is generated. If you want more characters, if you want less characters, you can do that. If you want to take out digits, maybe you don't want numbers in your password for some reason, you can uncheck that as well. Once you're happy here, all you have to do is click use password and it will automatically pre-fill both spots with a new password. And then there will be a pop-up from NordPass asking which account to apply this password to. Once you've selected the account that you want your password updated, all you have to do is click update and it will automatically sync with the NordPass app. The next thing to do is just click save on the site. The manual way to update your password will get you the same secure password. All you have to do is just go into the login where you want to update your password. On the bottom right hand corner, click edit. From here, go to the generate button in the password field. The NordPass password generator will pop up and you can copy this password and paste it into your browser. You also have all of the options here, the same options that the browser extension does. So you just click more options and you can change your password around here. Once you're happy with your password, all you have to do is just click copy password. Once you click copy password, don't close the password generator window. I recommend leaving it up just in case you need it in the next few seconds. All you have to do is just click off of the window and it will go into the background. You can always bring it back up. From here, double click your password in the password manager and paste the new password in. And then open your browser to the login page and manually paste the passwords in the new password and confirm password fields. If you're using the NordPass mobile app, it will function the exact same, almost the exact same as to what I've shown you here. The big benefit here is that the mobile app talks to the PC app, they sync. So if you've added a login or a secured note or a credit card, it will sync to your mobile app and vice versa. If you've added a login to your mobile app, it will show up here on your PC app. And just to show you, here is the NordPass up and running. You can see all of my logins here. They match what is currently on the screen. Login information is not the only thing that syncs between the mobile and PC versions. The credit card information syncs as well. So if you enter something on the PC, it will show up on the mobile app. And lastly, the secured notes also sync between the app and on the PC. This is extremely handy if you are out and about and jot something down. So everything you jot down on your phone will be synced with your PC. And a fun fact here, the mobile app also features the strong password generator. So you can use the app to generate passwords as well. The mobile version of NordPass also features the option to use biometrics. So you can unlock the app with a fingerprint. So now for my overall thoughts about NordPass. First and foremost, if the name NordPass seems new yet familiar, or you recognize the Nord account, that name seemed familiar. The people behind NordPass are the exact same people behind NordVPN. NordVPN is an extremely large VPN. They're one of the largest VPN providers out there, and they are very well known in the VPN world. Now, in regard to the safety and security of the information you store within NordPass, your logins, your passwords, your credit card information, and your secured notes, NordPass was audited by Cure53 and they did pass. Cure53 is an extremely well-known external auditor. So passing Cure53's test holds a lot of weight. The passwords stored on your device are also heavily encrypted. Nord does not even know what your passwords are. In terms of overall usability, NordPass was very easy and straightforward to use. The menus were intuitive. The options are pretty minimalistic, which is exactly what I want in a password manager. I don't want a password manager where things are kind of convoluted and messy. With NordPass, everything is easy to use. It's clean looking, it's straightforward, and it's not complicated. I like how the app functions almost the exact same way as the PC version, and the fact that they sync is a huge plus. 
The browser extensions were also easy to use, and I like how they sync with the program as well. I like how NordPass has two-factor authentication, and I also like how the app has biometrics. Using my fingerprint to sign in is incredibly quick and very convenient. Compared to some other password managers, I'm actually really quite impressed on how strong Nord's offering is, especially considering it was released in December of 2019. This program is not even a year old yet. And that's one thing I do want to point out. This program isn't even a year old yet, and yet it's already very, very good. I'm really looking forward to seeing what else they add to this program to expand on it. The development team seems to be very active behind the scenes to continue improving NordPass. I think my favorite thing about NordPass out of everything I've showed you today is the fact that it's free. You don't have to pay a dime to try NordPass out. Everything I showed you today, you can do for free, which is great. So if you like NordPass, great. If you try it out and you don't like it, that's okay too, because you didn't spend a dime. It's pretty risk-free in that regard. It gets a big thumbs up from me, especially considering free is the best price you can get. If you're in the market for a password manager and you've never used a password manager before, or maybe you've used a bunch of different ones and want to try something new, if you're a beginner or an expert, I would definitely recommend at least trying out NordPass. You've really got nothing to lose and everything to gain. It's easy to use, it's straightforward, it's streamlined, it looks great. I don't know what else I can really say about it. It's a password manager that does pretty much everything you need from a password manager. Let me know what you think about NordPass. Thank you everyone. Take care.